Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with ThePipeNook.com. Uh, this is going to be part 20 of my 25 part series of how to smoke a pipe. And this is going to be a fun one, but I'm afraid it's going to last a while. So I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible and do a good bit of my cleanup uh, afterwards. But um, I'm going to show you uh, all the different types of pipe tobacco cuts that I currently have. There's a couple that I don't have, but these are the, these are the main ones. So let's get started. Um, first and foremost, probably the most um, recognizable of the cuts is a ribbon cut. Um, Dunhill is most likely the best the best ribbon cut out there in my opinion um, and you can see it's just it's just really finely um, cut down into slivers um, very easy to light uh, very easy to load this and to light it um, let me see if I can get this back in the jar there we go so that's a ribbon cut um, I would say the vast majority of pipe tobaccos on the market these days are ribbon cuts. Uh, then one that's not quite as prevalent anymore that probably used to be more so is a shag cut. You've heard of shag cut. You might not have, have seen shag cut. So I don't even have to take this out, I don't believe. Um, but you can see how very, very fine that cut is you could you could roll cigarettes with that most likely uh, very fine very finely um, shag cut right there it's like a ribbon cut only much much more so um, so there's that I might as well tell you what these are so I don't get a bunch of questions about it that first one that I showed you the ribbon cut that was Dunhill's early morning pipe and this is Daughters and Ryan's three sales in the shag cut. Next up, um, I've got a coarse cut blend. This is Cornell and Deal's Haunted Bookshop. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Maybe I should just do it like this. But it's similar to um, the ribbon cut, but um, it's a little bit more coarse not quite as uniform so you'll have some smaller pieces and some bigger pieces um, this I believe is sometimes referred to as a as a coarse cut or a, a cross cut so that's Cornell and Deal's Haunted Bookshop alright next up is a cube cut now this is Peter Stokeby's cube cut and the name says it all this is diced up into small squares of cubes. So it's like they did flakes and then they diced the flakes the other way. Um, so really small cubes. This stuff I find is really hard to light, to keep lit because it's, you know, fairly dense. But there's the cube cut from Peter Stokeby. Uh, next up, these are kind of fun. This is a, uh, this is a, what would this be, a crumble cake. This is Briar Fox from Cornell and Deal. And it almost looks like a brownie. But I think the crumble cakes are made out of um, coarse cut tobacco that's pressed into a into a crumble cake and it's not pressed so densely that you can't just peel it off I mean you can peel sections of this off or break sections off and get you know stuff like that um, kinda helps the flavors to marry a little bit better in crumble cake form Another crumble cake I kind of wanted to show you if I can get it out is Mississippi River. Sometimes you'll get some chunks like that that you can just crumble out. And then sometimes it's a little bit more loose. So that's Mississippi River from uh, Seattle Pipe Club. 
Next up, we've got something very similar to the crumble cake. Um, but it's a lot more dense. Now this is a uh, plug. Uh, this is Peterson's 3P or Peterson's Perfect Plug. Um, and this very much is a brownie. This is like a very dense brick um, of tobacco. And this you will not, you will not be able to, to crumble off any pieces of. What you have to do with this is take a knife and you know basically shave it down or if you've got a really sharp knife you might be able to cut a uh, you know like a flake off of this or a slice off of it and then do with that what you will but this is very very densely packed right here this is actually almost the full plug that I got I think I've only shaved off a couple of slices of this and this was what came in the tin, 1.76 ounces, right, right here. So that one's really fun. Um, although a little bit more work um, than most. So next up, we've got coin cut or spun cut, and this tobacco is basically rolled like a giant cigar. These are kind of stuck together. I don't know if I'll be able to show you a good one. Here we go. Right there. So this is a coin cut or what's known as a spun cut. They take a cigar. Well, they, they roll up a giant cigar shape and then they slice it into slices. Kind of like circular flakes. But you can see this it spirals outward. Um, so that is a coin cut. I'll leave that out right there. To show you the next one in comparison, um, I think the larger ones are known as coins or medallions, and then a spun cut is like like this. This is Newminster's Superior Rounds, and these are a little bit smaller, right there. Um, just kind of for comparison's sake, I'll show you um, side by side. So there's a coin, and there's what's known as a spun cut. All right, so let me put some of this away. Um, Superior rounds. Uh, this was the coin cut was Dunhill's Deluxe Navy Rolls. All right, next up. Uh, we're getting into some of my favorite kinds of tobacco preparations. You saw this one in the previous video on how to prepare flakes. This is one of this is a Peterson's um, Peterson's flake, Peterson's signature flake. But flakes come in different shapes and sizes. Some flakes are um, half this size. Um, McBaron's Old Dark Fired comes in half of that size right there. Oh, I wish I had grabbed some of that to show you guys. It's some of my favorite stuff. But then this right here is a flake of Stonehaven. So the Stonehaven is a little bit thinner, but a lot longer of a flake. Um, and this is more of a standard flake size. So there's the flakes. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ran out of memory on my uh, camera. So we talked about the standard flake. We talked about the Stonehaven flake. Two other ones I've already brought out I want to talk about. This is a type of flake known as a broken flake. And I think you can tell why. I mean, it's basically a flake that's been slightly broken up and then this back here, um, this is, let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. This is a ready rubbed. Um, and as you can see, um, it's, it's like a broken flake, but it's 
it's something in between a broken flake and maybe a coarse cut. Um, it's a flake that's been uh, basically mechanically shaved or separated. Uh, I don't want to call it that because that makes it sound like the hot dog <laughs> of the tobacco world. And as we all know, cigarettes are the hot dog of the tobacco world. This is a flake that has just been finely sliced. Um, and this right here is McBaron's Old Dark Fired Ready Rubbed. And this right here is uh, McClellan's Pebble Cut in the Broken Flake. All right, so that is all I have. I think the only thing I, I don't have that I would have liked to have shown you was a rope. Uh, I don't have any ropes. I've never tried any ropes. Um, but basically, the rope is uh, the coin cut version of a plug. Um, so instead of having a, a brick that you would slice slices off of, very dense, um, the, the rope is basically what they make coin cut out of. So if you can just imagine that. Um, all right, I think I've done a, a decent job of showing the different types of tobacco cuts. So um, check back for the next video, uh, which is going to be, I believe, uh, well, we're going to talk about resting your pipes. So look for that video and we'll chat with you later.